Starting off the video strong with an offhand shadow glaive that is now two of those and I am doing this for chroming components, the shadow components of that will be four. I need one more and I can actually do another attempt at the chroming four perk. But let's get into the video with that. Man, I have to say, even if I will go like super dry on these items to get the components I need for the Chroming 4, it is actually really nice supplies for my Iron Man right now. Like getting so many raw sharks and also getting magic logs, which uh, I will turn into arrow shafts and then buy broad bolts and all that for 99 fletching. It is uh, not a bad thing. Uh, not quite what I wanted, uh, dormant anima core leggings. I think I have like uh, four of those in the bank already, but uh, it is a rare drop nonetheless. It's not really a good drop again, but uh, Sliskian Essence, I guess uh, I can make use of that sometime in the future. It is uh, 800k. I don't think it gives any components to disassemble this, like 99% sure. Let's have a look though. I don't think it should give anything. Oh wait, Shadow Components? It does? There's no way. I have to look up actually, but it's only going to give one because you can't level that up. And again, a dormant anima core body, by the way, my KC right now is, if I, uh, if, if I can spell actually, my current KC right now is 143. Oh, oh my god, I actually got a crest. The thing with this is that I think I have enough, how many essences do I actually have? Can I make this to the tier 85, disassemble it, and then you keep the, the crest? I'm not really sure how it works, but I um, guess I can make uh, one more chance at chroming now at least. I definitely didn't have enough essences anyways to upgrade it to tier 85, but that is the tier 80 and the uh, tier 85 weapon. We'll be equipping them and let's get them to level 9. So we got the 8 components from disassembling those 2 items and because I only have 8, I do only have a 1 attempt at this. I have my extreme invention potion on, I don't think the cape does anything but uh, just for luck I guess. And uh, if I do fail this 30% chance of getting the chroming 4, then I only have to get 1 more item from the uh, Gregorovic boss and I can do another attempt. But uh, let's hopefully get it on this one. Please no more Equilibrium 2 Ruthless 1. I would be very sad if that happened. Oh, oh, it's so, oh, it's good though. I think... Am I happy with this? I think I'm happy with this. Karoming 4 and Ruthless 1. A Ruthless 1 is not great, but it's not terrible. And Equilibrium 2, I can get like... I, can, I guess I can remove the... Um, the Aftershock 1 and just go for Equilibrium 2 Precise 6 if that's possible. I will have to check that out, but I'm super happy with this. Honestly, I think this is as good as I'll get with these components that are the only components I have. Equilibrium 2 Precise 5, I'm happy with that. Precise 5 Equilibrium 2 is going on the main hand and the Chroming 1 is going on the off hand. So uh, let's do that real quick. And now if we equip these... We have the Precise 5 Equilibrium 2 there on the main end and the Karoming 4, which uh, I'm going to try out right now. So why this is so insane is because you get so many hits from one ability and all of them can proc the Criminal Bolt. So if, if I just do one hit here, look at all those hits. All of those hits can proc the Criminal Bolts. Let me show you if I have Emerald Bolts because they proc really often. If I use it on the dummy right there, look three poison hits from just one single ability. And you just couldn't see all the other hits because the poison pretty much covered it up. But I'll use it again. Look at this. Three poison hits again along with the normal hits. But uh, if you're using like Ruby the Criminal Bolts and you get multiple procs, each proc is 12,000 damage without any modifiers. So that is a lot of extra damage you can get from uh, just one ability. Want to get some more money because I don't have much and I have to buy broad arrows every day for that 99 fletching. And look at that, 220 record kill on Glazor after my greater ricochet ability. It is so much damage. So unfortunate, I was on like 273% and I died. I got stuck in one of the beams and I actually was clicking out of them. But for some reason uh, there was some small area that you can get stuck on. So let's see the loot, 23.5 million still and 4.5 million in cash, some decent alkybos as well, so not too bad anyways, but uh, I'm going to start another kill streak again. Look at how strong the Great Ricochet is. Look at all those hits, that was just the Criminal Bolt proc on the uh, Great Ricochet as well. So I'm going to use it on the hand here, I'm first going to use Needle Strike 
And this is why the ability is so good. So look at this, 29k all the way to 25k. So that's 4k for a basic ability. And that's without Death Swiftness up as well. And if I have Death Swiftness, it's obviously even more. And if I get up a Criminal Bolt proc, it's just insane damage. So if I just use uh, Death Swiftness here, let's wait for the boss to go up. Let's use Needle Strike. I have to wait a bit now. And let's use it and let's see the damage. Uh, 4k and then 1k, 1.3k, 500 and something else. So yeah, it's insane and it actually proc the criminal bolts pretty frequently And if I get the ranged cape on a stand in Anachronia, which I'm actually working on It increases the uh, proc chance of the criminal bolts by 20% So it should proc even more when I have that cape it wasn't really going so hot for me, I died on 200% again and I actually got a decent amount of money still because I got some salvages and I'm up at 11.9 million now and that should be enough, I don't really want to go back right now after dying twice. So the reason why is just because I'm buying these broad arrowheads and I wanted to get some more money so I don't have to care about the money. It's like 9,000 broad arrowheads every day so 500k roughly that I have to spend and I think now, meanwhile just waiting for more days to go past, for my 99 fletching, I'm just going to do some agility or something. So I'm doing my weekly penguins and I actually got a title, so let's see uh, what it is for. 70 and I got the spy master title. Uh, I'm assuming that is for 70, kind of a weird uh, number to have the milestone at, but uh, yeah, spy master title achieved and I'm at 44 points now. I only have 3 out of 10, so I should end at like 50 something, but I'm going to stack them up. I want to save them for a big XP drop on agility. I said I was going to train agility and you know how I'm going to do that? Well, I just completed all the Sears Village task diaries and that is a lot of agility experience and also I can't believe I haven't got this before but now I have the enhanced Excalibur for extra healing during boss fights. So let's uh, reset the counter here, I've got all the items in my bag and I can after this go and enchant the Excalibur. So let's just uh, put all these lamps, only 1k for the first ones. I think the last ones are the only ones that really give a lot of experience. 10,000 for these ones, probably from the hard or medium, 25k. Another one, 30k, gradually going up. And let's do 30k again, 100k so far, and 30k, how much is the last one here? Hopefully more than 30k, oh 30k. So 161,000 experience for the whole diary. Not the most experience from a diary, but uh, of course the Excalibur is super good. Enhanced Excalibur has been achieved, and if I activate this, it is going to start healing me. Of course, I'm already at full HP, but uh, every 5 minutes I get a nice heal. I do want to get the double search codex, and it costs 500 pages, and I have 105 already, and you get like 10 or maybe some more than that sometimes from the whole lap of Anachronia, and I think this should be one of the best methods to get 99 agility anyways if you actually want to train it, so I'm just going to do this all the way until I have at least 500 pages, and uh, we will see if I do more than that, but uh, let's start at that at least. Look at the counter, 700,000 agility experience almost, and the pages I have right now, if I go here and search for codex, I have 336, but uh, I'm actually just taking a break and did some dungeoneering because I got the last dungeoneering fragments I need to be able to make the combined outfit, which has a lot of bonuses, which is going to be nice for my 99 dungeoneering grind. I will show you guys the bonuses in just a sec. So let's make the last piece right here and now combine the boots and uh, got the achievements. And look at this, Dungeoneering 7% more experience boost, 7% reduced depletion on skilling nodes, ice walking boots, which uh, by the way is uh, on the ice boss room, you don't slide around anymore. 7% damage boost, increased chance for slave creature spawns, one puzzle room skip per party per floor. 7% discount on reward shops for prestiging, improved chance of not using lock melter, 3 plus stat boost, sinkholes, 3 additional teleports a day, 10% extra experience from lamps. So many bonuses, this set is actually insane. And the crazy part is, you can't bring gear into Demonheim, so how you actually uh, get these bonuses is by just having them. You can actually just delete the set if you want to, but I want to keep it because it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah. Every time I do a dungeon now, before I didn't have the full set, so it says here in the chat, 5% experience from the smaller sets, but now it's going to be 7%. 
55k agility shy of 1 million on the counter a very nice progress on that in this video and also i have enough pages now exactly for the double search codex of course this is the untradeable version which uh, doesn't really matter for an iron man because i'm going to be using it anyways if you want to make the tradable one which i think is worth yeah you can see 35 million right now it is 750 pages so if you want to make some money on a main account by doing agility this is a pretty decent way of doing that but let's make the uh, the double search one let's read it real quick and unlock double search so now that we have that so let's go all the way here and try this out got 13 minutes before the uh, system update so let's just spam it twice and uh okay that was kind of anti-climatic but uh yeah i have it now and you can actually double search into a bladed dive so you can do three surges pretty much which is uh, super good for pvming and agility as well but i'm back to the engineering now and you can see on my stats that this is the set bonus from the set that i just made it gives all my stats a permanent plus three boost so if there's any doors that i can't open which is pretty unlikely with my skills but uh you never know there might be some door that i can't unlock also just having higher skills is actually increasing my chance of opening them and not failing the mechanics that you have to do sometimes so that is a nice bonus and you can see now in the chat as well when i completed a floor i get seven percent bonus experience from the set instead of five percent and another super good bonus of this set is that if you have a room you really dislike you can once per floor basically skip it so i can just skip this one because the ferret one is really annoying Maybe this is going to sound a bit funny, but I'm actually doing some Telos for Dragon Arrow Tips because I am on my uh, just trying to get 99 fletching grind and uh, waiting for broad arrows is not the most fun thing to do and I thought, hey, Dragon Arrow Tips can be dropped from Telos and uh, at least I got a decent drop now, Raw Rock Tails only on 65% and Rage Shell using a Ripper Demon but uh, I can feel I haven't done this boss in a while, but uh, let's see how far we can go before I get slammed. I swear I've got like four of these lucky dip tickets and you can't even use them on your Iron Man. I don't know why they're giving these to Iron Man, I have 65 now. But uh, yeah, anyways, oh, I forgot to put the ring on. I guess it's already too late, but uh, that could have been some rock tails. Dude, I've got so many heights, look at this, only high drops. Actually a milestone, look at that, 100 KC on Telos and still not over 200%, kind of a rip on that one. But uh, more salvage I guess and the uh, next skill is going to be over 100% and that is when I'm starting to bring a pack yak. I did do this all the way to 100% with a ripper though which uh, I haven't done before. And that is that. That is my streak. I lost it at 150%. And uh, I don't know why, but Telos is just one of those bosses I have a really hard time with. I sign frequently over the 100% mark, and uh, I don't know. Uh, it's just a boss that I really struggle with. At least I got to keep some of the loot, at least 122 rock tails. Pretty nice. Uh, I'm running kind of low on food, so that is welcome. It's probably just best to uh, wait for the broad arrows and not try to kill Telos for dragon arrow tips. Uh, regardless, I can't really push the enrage to get enough dragon arrow tips to make it a big difference. Uh, look how close I am to 98 fletching, by the way. So only really one fletching level, one and a half dungeoneering level, five or four agility levels. And then we have two farming levels, which I will get through the player on farm, of course, or some CD side if I get 99 and everything before 99 farming. We are very close to max, but I have some agility grinding to do now to catch up on that skill as well. So I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys did enjoy it and let's get the max cape in the next one. Hopefully.